what you need to know. The threat of force is real. We cannot have hollow words on the conduct of international affairs. This is Jim. What you just have to see. Chris Cuomo, Kate Bolton, and Michaela Pereira. Good morning to you. Welcome back to New Day. It's Monday, September 16th, 7 o'clock. This is Jim Zen here. This morning on this unbelievable flooding in Colorado. We're talking about end times. That's an area about the size now, of Connecticut. We have CNN in here. People unaccounted for. Hundreds more waiting to be rescued. With even more rain in the forecast. Why is this we'll happening? Asking what lies ahead, and we'll show you what the forecast is. Mm -hmm. And also, this Secretary of State John Kerry in France this morning. Kerry in racist France. Racist France and racist Israel, where Kerry, Kerry just run around to. Warning Syria. What will happen if they don't Warn Syria. Remember, it was racist France that flew most of the 20,000 bombing missions against Libya the other day. 24,000. Racist France and racist Israel hiding in the background. Pulling the puppet strings on Obama. Setting him up. But first, Colorado officials say up to a thousand people are still waiting to be evacuated from the deadly flooding there. Why we have so much deadly flooding in Colorado now? As above, so below. There's a war above, there's wars below. Weather wars are used now. Is it, does it have to do with the underground military bases that are underneath Denver Airport especially? Where so Alistair Crowley and all his secret military Freemason have gone and hide under the Denver airport. Chris, good morning. So we're getting light rain. That kind of adds insult to injury. You look right back there and just take a look at that. That's what people are waking up here. Right now, people, you have to understand end times, eschaton. You should understand that Venus is not Venus. You should understand that the fake news industry came about because of the Nephilim abduction treaty with the Freemason secret shadow government to cover up events where the Nephilim appear on Earth and their hybrids now take their place for other assorted purposes. Nefarious occult rituals. The floods and the fires that are hitting America. The explosion that happened a couple of months ago at Waco, Texas. The false flags that were risen by the CIA Baphomet gang stalking community in Cleveland with, the, with those abductions of the girls which are real but the participants who came forward as being the Castro brothers and those girls, they can be stage actors, crisis actors. That Charles Ramsey in Cleveland was this was a MK Ultra stage actor. He was m meant to offset the limo driver that was in that fire in San Francisco that abandoned the girls in the car. You have one hero balance off another one who's not a hero, an anti-hero. You have this duality played in the Hegelian dialectic, you know. It's a moving, turning table. You see Obama had, was saved by the talking jackass, the one he called the jackass before, a week before, Putin. He got saved by him from starting World War Three. You'll see this played out. This is from Numbers chapter 22 in the Bible. The talking jackass that saved the life of Balaam. Even though Balaam was beating and cursing the talking jackass. But the talking jackass in the Bible saved Balaam from an angel of the Lord who was there to slay him. So you have very, very high things being played out in our times right now. The Hegelian dialectic is a master play that's above us. 
And there are other prime directives, many of them, some of them not known to I, that we can induce. Um, in the previous video, I gave an update on the satanic superplot, which is to seize the entire earth, its atmosphere, the earth itself, to seize the earth's expansion, and of course all the inhabitants of the earth, from two-legged, no-legged, four-legged, all type of legs. But right now, all participants in Satan's full almost full I should say unexcelled possession of the earth its atmosphere inhabitants so chemtrails are a major major player in that satanic plot number one chemtrails play into our zombie state that we're in now that is a real physical state that happens when we wake up in the morning when you wake up from sleep and you get up, in between that is a zombie state, a waking state. Now they have us pinned in that state. We don't really get our full pineal activation for our waking state because of some things done to the Schumann resonance, which has to do with discerning the difference between the white and blue light in the morning sky and that morning sky has been obfuscated by chemtrails and other means. Chemtrails obfuscate the movement of heavenly bodies so we would know our, more of our true identity and where we came from. Chemtrails have to do with feeding us GMOs through the air. We get fed GMO chemicals to dumb us down and to make us explode or do all different things to be put under their control to other hard metals and other type of, of chemicals that come through the air. And some of them may not seem so dangerous by themselves. But once those chemicals come into our body, they can combine then with something else which came into the food. You understand the combination will occur inside us. Now some of those combinations are extremely nefarious. Let us look at what they, they have demonized sugar. Let me tell you something people, drink your sugar and get off the diet stuff. The diet stuff, aspartame, those cyclamates and those fake sugar things that they gave us to sweeten things. Look on your soda can, your diet soda, under the ingredients. Look where there's a little star by aspartame going down to some bold writing, little bold writing. It says warning, phenylketonorix. Warning, phenylketonorix. This product contains phenylalanine. You may say, what is that? Very few of you may go to the internet and look up phenylketonuria and find out, oh, this doesn't apply to me. I don't have phenylketonuria. None of my kids have phenylketonuria. We don't have to worry about aspartame. Worry this, people. Why is the aspartame there? And why is the phenylketonuria there? Why is phenylalanine there? What does phenylalanine have to do with your diet drink? And why are you giving that to your kids? So righteously, huh? you stupid fucking people, you stupid sons of bitches. You know, sometimes I agree with them. You're no fucking good, you people. You're no fucking good. Sometimes I really agree with them that you should all die. 
You all want a bumbleclaw die, you're so goddamn bad sometimes. They put phenylalanine into the diet drinks so it gets inside you and your kids. Why would they do that? Don't you understand what they want to do? They want to get control of you. So they need to get in your head. They need to get into the sacred ground of mind. They need to get into mind. And that's not so easy. Because something called the blood-brain barrier. But guess what phenylalanine does? <coughs> guess what phenylalanine does? Huh? Phenylalanine gets past the blood-brain barrier and goes in here. And guess what? They can make special stuff bind to the phenylalanine. Once it's inside you, didn't come in the soda can, the other stuff. It came from someplace else. Maybe it came from the chips. That's inside you. And you take the phenylalanine inside you. And some of it will bind. And the phenylalanine will get it past the gate to the blood-brain barrier. And now that something special that you didn't even know existed is in your child's mind. Just like in a video game. Now they have something in your child's mind. And that allows them to do mind control on a grand, grand scale to computers and electromagnetics and, and near-Earth satellites. Okay? That is called MK Ultra, 21st century. MK Ultra, 21st century. You signed up your kids for that video game, you know. And guess what? Some of your leaders don't even know what's going on anymore. Your president doesn't know about this. None of your presidents know about what I'm telling you. They don't know how things work, you know. Some of them know a little bit. But most of them are pretty, they're dancing puppets, they're Pied Pipers. Paid Pied Pipers. Blood money to lead the human race astray. In this great CIA Baphomet deception on earth of our history and who we are, our powers. Another thing before I end this video, just to advise you, one thing you can do is start sun gazing techniques. The sun gazing helps activate your dormant chem and DNA and also helps clean off your encrusted pineal gland to help awaken you. But really, it's not going to be easy for any of you to get true. I do get true on a high level. Because I have armed myself with Christ's armor. And I am authorized. I'm authorized. I'm an authorized Takia agent of His Imperial Majesty's court. Takia. Takia.